Hi, I'm Roy Dogberry. We're hanging out with Mom again, and we're sharing with Mom and with you this new recipe that I concocted when I was working at the cafe and goofing around making some caliente smoothies with my friend Jose. And um, this smoothie is going to be a chocolate chipotle smoothie. Mm. And uh, cafe uh, Lisa said it kind of tasted like a chocolate co a chocolate covered atomic fireball. Oh, okay, that sounds good. So this ought to be yummy. <laughs> and uh, fireballs. <laughs> And this is really simple. It's it's uh, the base is about two cups of almond milk, mm -hmm. which we already have right here in the blender, so convenient. And add a little bit of vanilla bean powder. Oh, cool! Isn't that neat? It's like saves you the trouble of uh, shelling oh, them. Oh yeah. Probably adding about oh, it smells so good. <laughs> about a quarter teaspoon of the vanilla bean powder, that would probably be about maybe a quarter to a half teaspoon of the liquid vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon and a half of raw chocolate powder. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, got out that stuff. There we go. That in there. And then some cinnamon. Mm. That's what really gives it that atomic fireball kind of mm -hmm. taste. And I'd say about a good teaspoon of cinnamon in here. Mm. Oh yeah, a little more, oh, yeah. little more certainly ain't gonna hurt. Little pinch of uh, sea salt, kind of brings all the flavors together. Mm -hmm. And some chipotle powder. Now you could also use the um, Chipotle peppers, just break off like a little piece. Um, we picked up some today and they were smoked and they're smoked a little too well. They tasted more like uh, wood than they did peppers. So we're gonna go with the chipotle powder for this. And I'm putting about quarter teaspoon, yeah, heck make it a half teaspoon, kick oh, it up sure. a notch. And uh, the cool thing about that, you know, putting some spice in the smoothies, mm. especially, you know, it's gonna, this smoothie is gonna have some sweetness to it, is that hot peppers, are good at burning up unwanted critters. You'll notice that in a lot of countries that are densely populated oh, really? and they eat food that they're not sure of the quality level of mm -hmm. it, you'll notice the spice of the food is really amped up. And because it's people know and have known for a long time that oh. the capsaicin and those, those oh, compounds yeah. in the peppers burn up that stuff. Oh, good. Yeah, and another thing is they also help fire up your metabolism. Oh, wow. Yeah, so a little hot pepper in your smoothies mm. every now and then. Good thing. Do you like it like that? Mm. Some yeah. honey. Oh yeah. About a couple tablespoons. Tablespoon and a half. Because we're going to be adding some uh, frozen bananas to this. Mm -hmm. So that's going to sweeten it up a bit too. So we don't need to go uber crazy on the honey. And of course you could use agave if you're doing the totally vegan thing. And now couple of frozen bananas. Well, mostly frozen bananas. <laughs> Partially frozen bananas. <laughs> and about a cup of water. And you don't have to use water. Um, you know, you could use just all almond milk, like three cups of almond mm -hmm. milk to make it like super creamy. But if you want, if you're worried about, you know, if you're trying to limit your, your nut intake, your the fat intake of the smoothie, uh -huh. you know, if you're on that trip, you can, mm -hmm. uh, you can balance it out with the water. And now, we blend. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Hey, check out Raw, Raw Dog Worry, www.rawdogworry.com. And check out his ebook. He's got delicious recipes on there. Uh. <laughs>